One, two, there, there, that's better. I can hear that. We are here today in beautiful Glendale, California, in this uh, studio, recording a song, Better Call Saul. Theoretically, it's a song that uh, Saul Goodman has commissioned. So the song is written for prospective clients. To interpret the song, we've invited the iconic, incredible country artist, uh, Junior Brown, to come and both sing and play guitar on the song. It's just great that he thought of me and wrote this song for me to sing and with me in mind and we're having a really good time with it. We took a little artistic license with Saul Goodman's commercial jingle. Truth be told, it would the real version of this, if Saul Goodman really existed, would be a lot cruder and a lot less polished and a lot less wonderful. We were actually in the parking garage at AMC and Vince said, what if we had a, a Better Call Saul song that you and I write together? Uh, and of course, neither one of us is a uh, lyric writer, but we thought we'd take a crack at it. I don't know the first thing about writing songs. Vince wrote a few verses, and I wrote a few verses. You want to tell the world you're in love with a girl named Fran? Uh, so you find an overpass and you say it with a spray paint can. Blue lights start blinging those hands. Wait a minute, wait a minute. We got a lot of lyrics. <laughs> TV writers uh, writing song lyrics. Is, uh, is sometimes a challenge because they like to be wordy. I'm yeah. having a hard time with this. Uh, yeah, I, I, this 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 stanza was my junior. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be apologizing soon. It's not something that comes easily to me. And in fact, there's there's one line about a creepy van and some kids who are trapped in a creepy van, and that comes from my 14-year-old uh, daughter Fiona. So that would. I don't know if that tells you about her. The FBI finds kids trapped in your creepy van. Stay real cool and tell them you're the ice cream man. <laughs> when Peter Gould and I thought about doing this song, it was like so obvious. It was like a thunderclap when it occurred to me, Junior, of course it should be Junior singing this thing. I was thinking where it goes, stick it to the man. I was thinking of like speaking that, like, yeah, stick it to the man. <laughs> <laughs> I've worked with Vince before and on the X-Files. It was an episode I wrote, and we needed to cast a, an actor to play a sugar beet farmer. By the way, this episode I'm talking about is the episode of, of, of X-Files that introduced me to Brian Cranston, Walter White. So this was a very auspicious episode. I don't know why, but I thought, hey, I, wanna, I want Junior Brown to play this. Really, honestly, because I'd never met him. I was just a fan. I said, let's, let's hire this guy. But anyway, that's how I got to meet him. It was very shameless on my part. It's great to get back with him again and work on this project. They just let me be myself and uh, sort of put my personality into it. And, uh, and so I did. I just sort of ran with it. You get to the bank, but the cops say, whoa, who are you going to die when they lock you down? Oh, that was great. That was, that was fantastic. That was really He's great. like, you get to the... <laughs> <laughs> His voice is like a whiskey on a beautiful afternoon. It's just gorgeous. Stick it to the man, justice or wrong. Yeah, you heard me. You better call. <laughs> that's good. You heard me. You heard me. Yeah, that's great. For the sake of having some variety, do you want to do one telling you, buddy, or telling you, man? I don't have that right now, I don't think. I'm telling you, pilgrim. <laughs> or friend. Friend is good. Or I'm buddy. telling you, friend. I like that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I'll tell you, friend. You better go song. I'll leave enough space in there. Yeah, yeah. Really good. Yeah. We didn't know what the hell we were doing, and then these guys, Dave Porter and Adam Dorn, made it look easy. On the last You Better Call Saul, just like as spoken, no melody, you know. You better, you better call Saul. Yeah, I would, yeah. I would love one of those. <laughs> That's my answering machine. You better call Saul. One more time. One more time, man. Yeah. Could I try that again? One more time. One more time. Okay. Everyone in the room is awestruck. And he's totally not pleased. Yeah, yeah, next. <laughs> and he wants to do it three more times to get it even better. Uh, and then and then proceeds to truly make it better yeah, when he thought that yeah. wasn't possible. It's, not, it's like I kinda it's like I'm not hearing where the chords are going, so it sounds tentative, you know? It sounds like I don't know where it's going. One more time on that on that second part. Shot Walmart short just a couple of beans. Music is going to be as important in the Saul Goodman show as it was on Breaking Bad. Watching a, a great artist like Junior How's perform that? something that I had a hand in creating was a real honor. I think that was the best part about today.
I'm going to have this goddamn song in my head for the rest of my life. <laughs> <laughs> that was quick and painless. <laughs>